Facts. People say I'm crazy for eating 15 whole eggs every day, and then I'm gonna die from a heart attack any minute due to high cholesterol. Even though I'm sub 10% body fat year round, lean, strong, and possess world-class fitness. Also facts, these same people who call me crazy regularly eat low quality processed junk food, don't exercise, are fat, weak, metabolically sick, and are just overall unhealthy pieces of shit. Now that's crazy. I'm Tanner Shuck, and if you didn't know, I live on meat and eggs. While I've already made a video about why I eat red meat, today's video is gonna to explain to you exactly why I eat up to 15 whole eggs every day. First off, eggs are one of the most nutrient dense and bioavailable foods humans can eat. Every day I eat five eggs for breakfast, five boiled eggs throughout the day, and usually another five eggs for dinner. And if you don't believe me, just think about it like this. 15 whole eggs is only 1,200 calories, which represents less than 30% of my body's maintenance calories. So 15 eggs may sound like a lot to you, but when you think about it on those terms, it's really not. But Tanner, what about all the cholesterol? Listen, you uninformed dumbass. Eggs are good for you, and so is dietary cholesterol. Really? I thought cholesterol's bad. Yes, really. I'm even gonna show you with science and my own cholesterol levels to prove it to you, so make sure you stick around at the end of this video. Ooh, I can't wait. The truth is eggs, red meat, and cholesterol are the most unfairly slandered foods out there. Here's what you must understand. Both eggs and dietary cholesterol are healthy for you. Now I'll get into cholesterol shortly, but first let's discuss what makes eggs so great. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Eggs are a superfood and they contain a shitload of nutrients such as biotin, vitamin D, vitamin K, choline, selenium, iodine. I can keep going. And just food for thought, one large boiled egg has only about 77 calories, yet contains every vitamin except for vitamin C, all essential minerals, six grams of protein, five grams of healthy fat, barely any sugar and carbs, and antioxidants. So what I'm saying is whole eggs are a nutrient powerhouse. They have to be, just think about it. Eggs must contain all the vitamins for an animal to grow and all the minerals responsible for essential bodily processes, such as cardiovascular health, immunity, and fertility. And I'm not the first guy to eat a ton of eggs or to say this. Vince Gironda, one of the godfathers of bodybuilding, has been saying this since the 1950s and he would regularly consume up to 30 whole eggs and unlimited amounts of meat throughout the day. And who looks healthier, Vince Gironda or the average American of today? Now, why do eggs get a bad rap? Only because whole eggs are high in protein and fat. But people forget it's high quality protein and essential fats. The egg yolk, which is the most nutritious part of the egg, primarily consists of high density lipoproteins, HDL, and low density lipoproteins, LDL, also known as cholesterol. While eggs do contain high amounts of cholesterol, they do not, I repeat, they do not increase the risk of heart disease in healthy individuals. This nonsense all started in the 1970s when studies inaccurately claimed that eggs increase the risk of heart disease in healthy people. However, recent research suggests the contrary and that eating eggs does not increase the risk of heart disease. And studies have also shown there is no credible link between dietary cholesterol and blood cholesterol. Much of the misinformation about eggs is due to the fact that eggs are the most cholesterol rich food. One egg yolk contains around 237 milligrams of cholesterol. But as I said before, eating cholesterol rich foods does not increase your cholesterol levels. What actually increases cholesterol? Eating a diet high in carbohydrates, not cholesterol, is likely the primary factor for high cholesterol levels. As studies show that eating more than 60% of your calories from carbohydrates, which most Americans do by the way, raises blood cholesterol levels. And how is this surprising? Carbs spike your insulin levels, which causes the cells in your body to produce more LDL cholesterol. And when LDL levels are elevated, cholesterol accumulates in the artery walls, which causes inflammation and oxidation, which can lead to the development of heart disease and other complications such as diabetes or stroke. So by eating eggs and other foods that are low in sugars and carbs, also known as meat and proteins, you can reduce your insulin levels and stabilize your cholesterol levels. Additionally, numerous studies show that eggs consistently increase HDL, that's the good cholesterol, and 70% of people who eat more eggs experience no increase in total or LDL cholesterol. You must also understand you cannot survive without cholesterol. Even if you purposely avoid cholesterol, which you shouldn't, your body produces cholesterol endogenously. And for all the dudes out there, without cholesterol, your body cannot synthesize testosterone. Another reason why eating whole eggs has been shown to increase strength and muscle mass. Just a few things to think about before you go on your bullshit low cholesterol diet. Now what about my cholesterol? Let's talk about that. 
But before we do, let's watch this quick clip of Dr. Stan Ekberg, who's way smarter than me, as he discusses the research of total cholesterol as it's related to all-cause mortality in a cohort study of more than 12.8 million people. Where the green zone is lower in the mainstream and the current model, less cholesterol is always better, they say. But when we see how the so-called safe zone has the highest risk of all-cause death, we kind of start questioning that, right? And what they call the danger zone over 240, anything over 200 is at risk or in danger. And that is where the curve is the lowest. That's the almost flat portion of the curve where the lowest risk is what they call the danger zone. So as you saw, total cholesterol levels between 200 and 250 milligrams per deciliter, which is considered high in the so-called danger zone, is actually the ideal range and has the lowest risk of all-cause mortality. Now what's my cholesterol? 185 milligrams per deciliter, which is right around where I want it to be. Actually, I wish it was a bit higher. Just think about it like this. Look at me and then compare me to the average American. Am I fat? Am I weak? Am I unhealthy? No, I'm not. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do steroids, I eat zero processed junk, I sleep eight hours, and I regularly exercise and lift weights. But I'm supposedly unhealthy because I eat meat and eggs, instead of heart healthy Cheerios and muffins. Even though my cholesterol is normal, and I'm actually in the ideal range for the lowest risk of all cause mortality. Give me a f***ing break. If you haven't figured it out by now, big pharma companies, public health care, and the government want people fat and sick so they can keep prescribing them bull medicine like statins and diabetes drugs. And why is low cholesterol supposedly healthier than high cholesterol when research consistently shows more people die with low cholesterol than high cholesterol? And don't forget, who pays for all these studies? The pharmaceutical companies that are pushing the drugs. And guess what happens when a study comes out with unfavorable results? They don't publish it. This is why you cannot and should not get your health information from the government or mainstream media. It's all about money. And guess what? Healthy people are bad for business. Now, do you need to eat 15 eggs a day like me? Almost certainly not. Unless your goal is to be as lean, fit, and jacked as possible while being natty like me. But this is my long-winded way of saying you should probably eat more f***ing eggs. Hey Tanner, can I have an egg? Sorry bro, whole eggs are for real men, not pencil neck punks like you. Aww. And if you need help with your training and nutrition, check out truestrength.co. Also, check out these videos. And if you haven't already, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you never miss another video. And remember, don't just be strong, be truly strong. And eat your eggs.